So hi Michael, welcome to shortlist.com. Thank you. In Take Shelter, your character has uh, these disturbing apocalyptic visions. Did starring in the film sort of change your opinion on people like Harold Camping and other people who've had end of the world theories? Oh goodness. Well, that whole uh, camping thing, uh, it just makes me sad, you know. Um, there's, there's people that took out, uh, there's a story in New York City about a retired bus driver who took his life savings and spent it on adverts for the Judgment Day, uh, this last one, May 21st. And uh, every time I'd see one, I'd just, I would get so sad because I knew if this, if it didn't happen, that this guy was not only going to be wrong, he was going to be broke, you know. And that just, uh, uh, it would always make me a little melancholy. But um, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't claim to know any more or less about when the world's going to end than anybody else. Uh, somebody wants to tell me it's going to end such and such a day, then that's their prerogative. I don't, it doesn't make me angry, but it doesn't, I don't necessarily take it very seriously. You're known for playing quite sort of intense, uh, serious characters. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sort of deep desire to star in a film about a talking cat or a romantic comedy? I did make a film about a talking cat, but I just don't uh, show it to anybody. It's just for me. No, um, I could be in a film about a talking cat, as long as I wasn't the, the ingenue. I'd want to be the talking cat. Um, I do, you know, I do what I get offered. I, uh, I think there's this illusion that actors are out there like, it's like we're at a cake shop or something, like, oh, I'll take that one, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really work that way. I mean, there are some things that I read and I'm, I'm just like, no, I don't, I'm not going to do that. But that's not usually because I feel like it's too, to, to, you know, it's too much like something else I did or whatever. It's just usually because I don't think it's very good. But uh, I read something like Take Shelter, I say, eh, that's, that's pretty good. And it seems like it'd be a good movie, so I do it. And if it happens to bear some similarity to something else I did, then, you know, that's in the eye of the beholder, really. I know you've got The Man of Steel coming up soon, and I'm sure you can't say much about it because you've been sworn to secrecy, uh, but can you sort of tell us how your general result is going to be different to Terence Stamp's interpretation? He won't have a British accent. Um, he'll be taller, and sorry, Terence, but it'll be slightly more muscular. Terence didn't have that going on, did he? <laughs> have you been having uh, arm wrestling matches with Henry Cavill? It's private. <laughs> no. Um, no, he'd rip my arm off and eat it. That man's huge. He's very, he's a savage. But he's got good manners. He's from Jersey. Isn't that, it's part of England, isn't it? It's between English, England and France, Jersey. Yeah, we right? try and ignore it. You're trying to ignore it? Is it what, it has a bad reputation? Uh, it's just the sort of place that no one really talks about. It's like it's like Lost, that TV show Lost. Yeah, yeah. No one really knows why it's there or yeah. how everyone got there. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, me and Henry sometimes we worked out together once. He did it. He did an easy load, you know, to make me feel better, and uh, he was very supportive. But um, most of the other times I work out with the women. Yeah. What's the next question? <laughs> Is it true that you're uh, fighting Russell Crowe in the new film? Because uh, he'd be he quite tweeted a terrifying about it, opponent, he? wouldn't he? Yeah, he, uh, he told me that he tweeted about it. And um, I had no idea. Like, when he mentioned it at the time, I was like, oh, that's, that's cute. I had no idea. It's like a meteor hit the earth or something, this, this tweet. It's like everybody knows about it. I mean, he must have a... How does that work? I don't even know how Twitter works. How does it work? You can say something in 140 characters, and then all your followers can see it. Are you one of his followers? Uh, I don't think I am, actually. Yeah. Is there a limit on how many followers you can have? Uh, no, you can, you can go for as, as hard as you want. We're going to have to have a contest, then. So you, <laughs> you, you need to you join. You can follow Zod or Jorel on yeah. Twitter. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to start that up. 